Hello, hello there, officer. It's a nice day. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. I'm going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detail. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, please, John, could you not Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you?
Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <sighs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Cheever's legs. It was about six inches off the ice, and Cheever started to go down. But right back to Brian Watson. He pulls in his luck by three on a big play, and out comes Watson. Here's a lead pass, and it's an in a loop. He tries, and Robert saves. Coming up 15 feet to break it up. Leach checks on the play. Fights for in the corner. Centers it. Stopped by Rutherford. Right around the boards, controlled by Cashman. And that's Pizzini with a quick shot at Rutherford. What a beautiful save! 
You won't see any fire plays in that one right there. Cashman out of the corner. To <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You wanna try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Son of a bitch clock. Wow, Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Hey, Tanya, you up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know, haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it, Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him, find Megan. Relax, I'm on it. Do me a favor, quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah, because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Anthony! Where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Help! Hey, Dad! Get Megan out! Stop! 